What's up guys, we're back again with another video. In today's tutorial we're going to be going over how we can add Geyser MC and Floodgate to your server to allow Bedrock clients to join your Java server. We're going to use a Java server for this, of course you're not going to be able to use a Bedrock. Bedrock will simply not allow plugins, whereas Java's will allow plugins, such as Paper. Paper is more optimised for multiplayer and using plugins. First things first, we're going to head on over to the Geyser MC site and we're going to go to the download on the top. Here we're going to find the download geyser and the download floodgate. Just make sure that you have the right section selected. Here I've got paper and spigot which is going to work on. You can also choose velocity, waterfall bungee cord, fabric, sponge or a standalone version. However we're going to be going for paper spigot. Let's go ahead and download the geyser and download floodgate as well. With that now we need to upload the files to our server. Before we do that let's stop the server and you can upload files through a number of different ways. First of all you can actually go to the plugin section find the plugins that way and then install them. Second of all, you can go to your FTP file access. From here, head down to your plugin section and then upload both the files here. However, my preferred method is to put them into a folder that I'm going to be able to find easily and then open up FileZilla. If you haven't used FileZilla before, it's a file sharing program. So basically, we're going to log into our server using our host, our username, password and port. All of this you can get from your FTP section. Once connected, go to your plugins folder and then simply drag and drop the floodgate and geyser plugin into that folder. Now we're going to get a little message on the bottom right. There we go. Transfers finished. We can close this down. Once and we do need to start up the server, so we're going to start up the server with the plugins in. This is going to basically create all the files and folders that we need for them to work before we go ahead and configure them. After this, only one more step and you're practically done already within a few minutes. Perfect, so service back on. Now I'm just going to stop it again just to make some more changes and here I'll probably suggest to copy your IP number for your server and this has got to be your server IP and either copy your port or just memorize it. It's quite easy, so we've got 25575 for this port. Next we're going to go to files and if you don't have the config files access, if you're using a different server host, you can also go to FTP file access and find the config files within your server files and just click on edit. However, for ease of use, we're going to go to config files. From here, we're going to find the config.yml that is for the geyser spigot config. Here is where we now need to make a few changes. So right from the top, we're going to go down until you can see a port number here, which is the default port number for Bedrock. However, we want it to be our um, port number for our server. So we're going to put ours, which is 25575. Obviously, you make sure to put the port that suits your server. If we scroll down a little further, and this is optional, you can now change the MOTD1 and 2 that will appear for Bedrock clients. Um, so you can change this and just make sure to change it within the quotation marks. The same with the server name. For instance, my, my one's called JDog Server. I'm going to put JDog Server here, and then I'm going to put a message of the day between the message of the day 1 and 2. Now let's scroll down just a bit further over here. And this is the bit some people have problems with. Of course, you can leave this bit as auto to listen for the IP connection. However, I find it much better to add um, next to the address bit here, leave the space after the colon, and then we're going to replace auto with the actual IP. And again, this is going to be the IP of our server, just to be clear. Next up, I'm going to scroll down just a little bit more. I'm going to change this port here because again, um, it's the port, but it's not listening to our port. So we want it to listen to our port. So if yours is 25574, you're going to replace that with 25574, leaving the space after the colon right here. Last but not least, we're going to come down to auth type. Um, it says online. However, we want this to say floodgate now it says floodgate we are completely dumb um, and you shouldn't really have any problems now um, from starting this so let's go ahead and save and just test it out once saved start your server back up you can also go ahead to the console to actually see that it's working from there usually there will be errors if you've done something wrong but we're going to be hoping to get a nice error free page here as we can see the floodgate has been enabled guys has been enabled as well and we don't seem to have any faults so let's just double check and log in and let's go ahead and look for the server. I'm pretty sure I've got this added here. Perfect, and it's popped straight up. Let's just check that's the right address. There we go, and that's our address. That's our port, and it's showing as online with the green ping, which is great. Let's just join the server. And it looks to be all well, and we are now loading in. Very exciting. Here we are in the server, and unfortunately, we started off in nighttime on a very random island. Ah, and we got a village. Great. Now, before we say bye on this video, I just want to give one more tip here, which is sometimes bedrock will be updated before java this might cause a problem for geyser if you do ever have this problem simply install uh, the plugin via version this will allow newer versions to come on and they also update with bedrock as well meaning that if bedrock is on a slightly newer version than java and they're still not allowed on even with geyser and floodgate you can add via version or via backwards if it's the other way around no configuration needed and it will then allow older and newer versions to jump on as well thanks for watching if you want to check out the 10 best minecraft plugins click on the video that's popping up on the screen right now